Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Skyhook RDTA box. And um, I just received this from Brad's Vapor for the purpose of this review. And um, that will not skew my decision or my likes or dislikes of it. I'm going to give you um, my thoughts and opinions on it. And we're going to put it together and vape on it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are. We've got the Smock Skyhook RDTA box, the Aliens Cloud Machine. And um, on the side, it's going to give you some um, different options and the things, a little bit more information about it without having to go into the manual, which I do recommend going into. Um, and it's just showing the different designs and a little bit more information, such as the 0.96 um, inch OLED screen. Um, it also supports single coil option and it's got multiple airflow and a floating velocity post design so yeah so that's that and then of course it does come with um just a little bit of information um about the device if you want to go ahead and pause it and read the description you can um it also has like the little scratch to uh, reveal the authenticity over here um manufactured by um, them and that's about it so let's go ahead and go into it now one thing i do hate about their boxes is sometimes it's really hard to get them open that one not so bad <laughs> so we'll go ahead and go into it and here we are the star of the show of course it's going to come with the silica gel you definitely don't want to eat it so you want to go ahead and throw that away and then here's the device here and we'll put that aside and we'll look in the box and see what goodies we have. Um, it comes with the manual, the authenticity card, the battery safety information card. So please make sure that you're reading this. It comes with an extra airflow ring so that you can adjust it. And I'll show you that after. It comes with the charging cable. Or firmware upgrade cable actually they recommend not charging it in the device of course um, you want to try to charge your batteries apart and then you've got your goodie bags with your o-rings and your allen key and um, some extra screws and then more silica gel <laughs> just in case it also they also give you some cotton which I think is really nice so that you can actually get started if you're not at home and you don't have anything with you you're ready to get started and then this is that um, piece that I told you for the single coil option. It does come with that as well. So we're going to go ahead and put all that back in here real quick. And we'll get back to the main attraction here. Let's go ahead and put that aside. And here we go. This is the main attraction. Um, basically, this is just like the Smoke Alien. The only difference is that it does have the RDTA, which is um, like a, an invisible juice well and sort of like an rda on top so it gives you that rdta feel but with the same alien design so if you're used to the alien mod then you would definitely be used to this one um it comes with a removable jip tip so you can go ahead and remove that um it also comes with this cap here which has the dual airflow so you've actually got um bottom airflow and then you've got side airflow here and it can be adjusted by the top, just turning the top when it's on. It's a little bit easier, but you can actually turn it and adjust the top holes. And um, then of course that part does come off so that you can put on the other one. It's a little bit tough because it's new. Oh, let me zoom out a little bit, a little bit too close for you guys. And just take that off and then you can use the other cap. So you would just put it on to this cap if you choose to. I'm gonna do it with the two air flows um, just to see, but if you notice, you can adjust it. You would just turn this. Again, it's a lot easier once it's on the mod, but for the purpose of this, we didn't have it on the mod. And then here is where you fill up your juice. So you would just open this, or your e-liquid rather, and you would just go ahead and dump your e-liquid right in there and then close this up and it's going to go into the invisible juice well um, for you and there we go turn that and that's pretty much it it has like that fiber um, sticker on it just like the alien did it's got the power button here 
So that is your whole power button here. Um, and then of course your OLED screen, your up and down arrows, and your um, firmware upgrade USB cable port. And then there's the battery door. And you can open this up and there's the battery door, very simple. It's also got the plus and minus back in the bottom, if you can see it. And yeah, so plus to go down, um, negative up, and the opposite for that one. And it's a pretty good door. I mean, it's easy to close. It does. It hasn't given me any problems at all when I put the batteries in. So I, I really like that about this door. Um, it doesn't feel like it's gonna come off or anything like that, so that's awesome. So then um, to turn the device on, just like any of the other smoke products, you go ahead and click it five times fast. And then it comes on, it's gonna tell you where it's at. If it needs to be upgraded, you would know um, because it wouldn't be at the, the um, that number. And you can check their website to see if there's any upgrades available. So right away, when you go in, it's gonna ask you new coil or old coil. It actually comes with a coil in it, so that would be new. And in here, we'll go ahead and zoom in. This is actually your display screen. It's gonna display your wattage. Um, it also displays the volts, ohms, amps, mode, if you're in temperature or wattage. Your PCB, which is like an internal temperature um, notification, as well as your puff counter. And then it'll display also, um, and then it'll show here, this is like how many seconds you're actually holding your um, the fire button. And to go into the menu, it's just like all the other smog products. You're going to go ahead and press the power button three times. And the first one is going to be mode. Next one is going to be puffs. Next one is going to be your settings. And then your power. And then you're back to mode. And in mode, you can actually adjust this by pressing and holding your fire button. It'll go in wattage mode, temperature mode, or memory mode. You've got three modes available to choose from. And then you can go back to wattage, make sure that you press and hold your power button and it'll go to your next option, which is your vape strength. Right now it's on norm. Oops, <laughs> took too long to get through that. And um, you have soft, norm, and hard. And then it goes back to soft. I usually, my vape strength is usually on norm. Just press and hold it and it'll go back there. Go back to the next one, which is your puff counter. Um, already have one puff that's what it'll show if you want to um, put a max of your puffs you would just go ahead and do your up and down and it will actually um, display the max that you want it before it shuts off which if you leave it at um, never then you don't have to worry about it it's like never gonna count it so don't worry about that um, press reset Oh, I'll just go ahead and press yes. Okay, so we reset the puffs. Not that there was anything on it, but we reset it. We'll go into the next menu option, which is your settings. In your settings, you can um, do your screen time. In your screen time, um, you can put it in stealth mode. That means that your display won't show at all, which I'm not sure why you would want to do that. Um, right now, my screen time is set to 70 seconds, and then it turns off, but you can adjust that. Okay, you can adjust that by turning it down, turning it up. I actually have it on 70. And then your next option is going to be your screen lock. You can lock the screen. You can have it on auto lock, off or on. And then we go into power. So this is where you That's would actually basically um, all your menus and it's also got the firmware upgrade that in the menu and you can go ahead and plug that in and turn that on as well. There's been so many videos for this device for the alien itself that um, I'm sure that you're probably already familiar with that part so we'll bypass that. Um, with this device it does come already with pre-built coils um, which are on there already so I'm just going to go ahead and dry fire it and wick it up and we'll put some juice and we'll start vaping on this so what I like to do is actually go ahead and adjust them um, they look a little crooked to me so I just want to adjust them but that's me and my OCD just going to adjust them make sure that they're right over the airflow I'll make sure that you can see that 
I'm going to do the other side. Make sure that they're straight. And then we'll go ahead and dry fire them and see how they are. Yes, I'm a perfectionist. I do apologize. Let's go ahead and make sure that they're okay. Where am I at? I'm at 31. Oops. It would help if I'm on camera. Huh? Go ahead and heat them up. This is the first time they're being used. So and I think they're like fused Clapton's. Nowhere in the description, um, in online or in the manual did it actually say um, what kind of coils they are, but I'm thinking that they would be um, fused Clapton's. So that's what I'm thinking that they are. And we're just gonna go ahead and get these to fire right. It's a good thing that I'm trying them out. Get some hot spots on there. Let's do the other side. Ooh, hot spot. Okay. Turn it up a little bit. Just press your up or down and it'll turn it right up. Might be on a little bit too low. Let's try it again. Yeah, now they're firing evenly, so we're good to go. So let's go ahead and wick her up. It'll just take a second for it to cool down. Some cotton in here. I'm really, really anxious to try that. Um, I'm actually going to try a new e-liquid concoction that I'm going to share with you that I actually um, learned from somebody in the adrenaline vapor world. Um, one of the admins on their Facebook group was talking about mixing some, and I'm going to do that today with you. So, yeah. So, while that's cooling down, I'm just going to go ahead, and I've got two pieces of cotton, and I'm just, I, I usually just go ahead and twist them up like this. I twist it from the inside out, and then I pull them up. Try to even it. And it also makes it a little bit longer too. That's kind of cool. I'll go ahead and put that, zoom in a little bit and put you over here. So just go ahead. Well, you know what? Let's go and, oops, look at me. I'm gonna unscrew this so that you can see the bottom part too. Okay, see how the deck just comes right off? And then that's the bottom of it. And your wicks are actually going to be going in those holes right there. So we'll go ahead and put it in there. I'm just going to set it on top so we can get this in. And then once we do, then I'll show you how to put it in the bottom. And put that in there. It would help if it stayed on. Let me secure it a little bit. it's not too tight and not too loose got that one in I'm gonna do the same thing with this one again I just do it from the inside out but that's my preference everybody's got their own ways of wicking this is mine right or wrong that's what I do okay, put that one through. There we go, and the second one is wet. There. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna I'm gonna take this off so that you can see it. We want to put the wicks down in the holes so that they're in the bottom. And then what I'm gonna do is fluff them out once I do that. So I'm just gonna stick it right there. It's gonna come out the bottom. Okay. Zoom out just a little bit. I don't want to lose you. And put that one in. Some people go ahead and fluff it up first. I'm going to fluff it up after. 
once I get them in because I think that they're going to be too fluffy to put in the holes personally. So just putting that in. Put this one in. Pull it through. And no, they're not going to stay this long. They do not have to be this long at all. So I will be cutting them down after I fluff them out. And I'll show you that. And then the last one. And just pull it through. There we go. And they look very pretty. Look at that. I like to make sure that it's not too tight. Definitely need a little bit of air in there. And then if you notice, they're all here. See? Now I can go ahead and fluff it. Fluff it. And again, they're not going to have to be this too long. So we're going to trim them down. But I like them fluffy to grab all the e-liquid. So there we go. And I'll grab my scissors. And I'm just going to cut them. And I'm going to cut them where they're just below the rim. Just below. Just below that rim. They don't need, it doesn't need to be any longer. And I'll show you why. There we go. Right below the rim. And I'll go ahead and fluff them out again. And what's going to happen is as you're actually vaping, you always tilt it to vape. You tilt it this way or you tilt it that way, but it's always doing that. And the inside is where your e-liquid is actually going to get the wicks wet. So you really don't need them too long. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in there just like that. Now that I'm all wicked up. Make sure that's in there. And then we can do our juice. So, to put the juice in, it's actually basically all you need to do is just fill it up here and that's it. It will automatically fill. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put... I think it was 35% of the Freak and then some of this one, um, which is the Freak and the Captain Claw that we're going to be mixing. So let's go ahead and put some of each. I'm excited about this. So I'm first going to put the Freak. Let's back up a little bit. So I'm going to put some of this in there. I said I'm like 35%. So I'm going to put some of this in. And then we're going to try the mixture. And now we'll add some Captain Claw. And this is so funny because the way that this is set up, you could just basically dump your e liquid in there. I'm going to put one more of the Freak. The Freak is like a cranberry and fruits. It's so, so good. And this one's the Captain Claw. So this is like a sweet tart. So I'm really excited to try it. And again, those are through adrenalinevapors.com. And if you use the code FREAK15, you can actually get 15% off of their e-liquids. And they've got such a huge variety of them. It's funny. So we're going to try that one. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's mixing well. And there's the juice line. Let's see if you can see that. See? So I've got a lot more, I can actually fill it up. So let's put more in it, shall we? Just gonna dump some, because it's so big. Let's dump some. Okay, oops. Put that over there. Oh yeah, I've still got a little bit of room. I'm just gonna put another drop. This is taking me the longest time. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the cap on. And I'm going to wet the wicks, make sure that they're nice and saturated. And what I like to do is actually, um, when I put the e-liquid on it, I like to drive to fire it and pulse it just so that it gets within, underneath the coil, it'll get on the cotton. So I'm just going to do that. I feel like it wets it better. Over 
over here. There. I'm going to definitely check to make sure that these um, wicks are loose still. Oh yeah, they're wet. Just make sure that these are not tight in. There's nothing holding them. Okay, so. Time to turn this up. And these are reading at 0.292. The ones that came already pre-made. And we'll go ahead and put our top on it making sure to align the airflow with the airflow of the RDA. And then it's also got the top and I haven't vaped it, so don't know how far we're gonna go. So let's go ahead and go on top and vape this. Okay, so here we are, we're all waked up. We've got the coils in there. We've gone through the menu system. We've talked about the drip tip and the cap and we filled her up and she's got juice. And uh, yeah, so I'm ready to take a vape. And let's see, we're at I'm gonna make this, because it's a 0.29, I think I'm just gonna take it to maybe 70. I'll take it to 70. I love the clickiness of the buttons, it's nice. And the indicator, the battery indicator is cool too. All right, so. Okay, we're at 70 watts, so let's go ahead and take a beep. very lightweight I like that there isn't much I don't like about this I actually have the original RDTA box and it was kind of heavy it was bulky it was big um, this is something that I think even you know for a guy to put in his pocket I think would be easy um, it's an all-in-one which is always awesome especially if like you're going to work or you're driving somewhere I think that that's great um, there's not much I don't really like about it. Um, actually, I haven't found anything yet. Um, just to give you the specs for um, in wattage mode, you can build as low as 0.1 ohm up to 3 ohms. And in temperature control, you can go from 0.06 ohms to 3 ohms. Um, it does go from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And in Celsius, it goes from 100 to... I want to say 315 degrees Celsius and um, any other specs that I can think of if you want to lock it you can press and hold your up and down at the same time and it will lock it um, it's got the build um, deck in it is a 23.2 millimeter build deck which is a really good size I think so I'm gonna take another bait Very tasty, very good. The coils that came in are really, really nice too, but I think I can actually take this up a little bit more. What do you think? I'm gonna take it up to 80. Huh. Everybody knows I like me some clouds. And it has flavor, so two and two for me. I, I don't know, for me to give it any stars, um, from a one to a 10, I would say This would probably rank up to, I would say almost a 10. I really like this. I think this is a great all-in-one device. Um, it's easy. It's easy to build on. It's got a huge build deck. You can build your own coils on it. It's easy to fill. It's, it's, it comes with nine milliliter juice capacity. Um, yeah, I don't see that there's, this is, if you like the Alien, you're going to love this. If you want to start building on it um, and have something that's more of an RDA type feel. Um, if you don't have it, then I would suggest this one over the other sub -ohm one um, for the Alien kit. It's got the regular sub -ohm. I think it's the Big Baby Beast, but I like this one better personally. 
Um, I'm not into sub oming, so this would be more of my preference. But yeah, so one more bake. Works perfectly. So yeah, I like it. So if you want to get this, you can hop over to bradsvapor.com. If you use the code Wendy Wendy Vapes 10, you'll get 10% off. I'll leave all that in the description below. Um, yeah, so if, this is this is definitely yeah this is a nice device I'm surprised I'm really surprised I really like it for an all-in-one and an RDTA type I this would probably be definitely one to take to work because I really like I like it it's very compact look at how small it is in my hand it's not too small and it's not too big so it's perfect and it looks good with my nails <laughs> so yeah so if you're interested in this don't forget to check out Brad's Vapor. He's got a wonderful, wonderful warranty program even. Um, his customer service is impeccable. I got this in two days. So his shipping is on point always. So yeah, if you have any questions or comments about this, please leave it in the comments below. If there's something else that you wanna see that I haven't reviewed, um, also leave that in the comments below. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'm sure that you've heard about um, the YouTube issues with unsubscribing people. So if you find out that you're not subscribed, it's probably one of those issues. Please just go ahead and hit the subscribe button again. And um, thank you so much for watching another review with Wendy Vapes. And I can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye.